Hi, I'm Matt Hinkle and today we will be reviewing how to calculate friction loss for driver operators. This is the third video in our pump operator series. If you haven't seen the first and second videos, please take the time to view those. You need to have an understanding of pump discharge pressure and how to calculate flow before we get started. Okay, now we're going to take the friction loss component and learn how to work that component within pump discharge pressure and total pressure loss. So, Looking at the formula, it's friction loss equals C times Q squared times L. That is, C is your coefficient of friction. You don't change that number. That's basically based on the size of your hose. Q is the quantity of water that's in your hose line, or how much water is moving through your hose line. And L is the length of hose that you have. So we're going to look at this, that you have to have three components to calculate your friction loss. Those three are the size of the hose, which is going to your coefficient, and usually we use a chart to do that. Some manufacturers have their own coefficients for the way that they manufacture their hose. It could be a, a difference in the friction loss. The next part is the water, and that's Q, or quantity of water. Now, something that gets people confused is when we work out the problem, Q squared is actually in hundreds of gallons per minute. So instead of saying your total GPM, you actually have to divide that by 100. So a lot of times we'll rewrite the formula to say Q divided by 100 squared instead of Q squared. Now it's real important when you do that that you make sure that you put the square outside of the parentheses. If you put the square at Q inside the parentheses, it would say that you're going to square Q and then divide it by 100. In this case, we want to divide Q by 100 and then square it. Essentially, we're dividing the GPM, say it's 200 GPM, that's two hundreds of gallons per minute, and then we're squaring it. And then lastly, we have the length of hose, and the length of hose is also in hundreds of feet. So instead of writing L, a lot of times we rewrite that as L divided by 100, because it's in hundreds of feet of hose. If you were using 200 feet of hose, it would be two. If you were using 400 feet of hose, it would be four. So we're simply just taking the length of hose that we're using and we're dividing it by 100 to get L. To work along with us in our next examples, you'll need to use the following friction loss coefficient table. You'll pick the size hose line that you're using and the coefficient that goes along with that hose to put into the formula that we're going to use. You can also find this coefficient table in the download section of our website. Okay, for our first friction loss problem, I've drawn an example this square represents the fire truck, and off of that fire truck we've pulled 200 feet of inch and three quarter hose flowing 150 gallons per minute. So we need to look at this initially and see do we have all the pieces that we need? Do we have the size of the hose? Yes we do, it's the inch and three quarter. Do we have the quantity of water that's flowing through the hose? We do, it's 150 gallons per minute. And do we have the length of the hose? We also have that, it's 200 feet so we have the length of hose that we need. When we, when we simplify this formula and we work out from C times Q squared times L, we just plug and play the numbers. First and loss is going to equal 15.5. 15.5 is the coefficient for an inch and three-quarter hose. You'll need to use the chart or your textbook. We've also provided one on our website for you to print out and use. But 15.5 goes along with that coefficient for the inch and three-quarter hose. The next part is the quantity of water. Well, that's 150 gallons per minute. So we're using 150 divided by 100 and then squaring it. So that gets us 1.5 squared because 150 divided by 100 is 1.5. The next part is the length of hose, 200 feet. That's length of hose in hundreds of feet. So it's 200 divided by 100, which is two. We keep simplifying that problem down. We go 15.5 times 1.5 squared is 2.25 and then times two. We work out that final problem and it tells us the friction loss from the pump to the nozzle, that total friction loss uh, is going to be 70 PSI. Okay, in our next example we're going to use this scenario. A 200 foot, inch and three quarter with a one inch smooth board tip on the end of it. Now we need to see, do we have the three things that we need to calculate friction loss? The size of the hose, the coefficient. We do, it's a one and three quarter inch hose, inch and three quarter hose. The next part, the quantity of water. Do we have the quantity of water? The answer is no. So we're using a one inch tip. If you remember from previous or previous video, to calculate the GPM through the nozzle, we have to use a different formula. Oftentimes for testing purposes and for, for your courses that you may take, this is a common problem that you're gonna have. It is not giving you all the available information you need to calculate friction loss. 
We calculated a one inch hand line tip in the last video and if you remember that answer was 209 gallons per minute. So we have to use the GPM formula to figure out how much water is moving through that hose line. Once we figure that out, we can put 209 gallons per minute in our Q for our Q. So until we know that, we can't put anything in Q because we don't how much, know how much water is going through the hose line. Lastly, do we have the length? We do. We have 200 feet of inch and three quarters. So we write down 200 divided by 100 for our L. We simplify the problem. It's going to be 15.5 times 209 divided by 100 is 2.09. And that squared is going to be 4.36. 200 divided by 100 is 2. And we just keep simplifying it. So now we have 15.5 times 4.36 times 2. That tells us our friction loss is 135 PSI. So in this instance, we gave a problem that's, that does not give you all the available information or doesn't give you all the information that you need. You need to go back and calculate the GPM through the smooth bore in order to figure out all the components that you need to figure this problem out. In this example, we're gonna use one truck to, to relay or to move water from one to another. Or maybe it's feeding an aerial device or something like that. It's gonna be 400 feet of four inch hose moving 500 gallons per minute. So we don't need to know the nozzle pressures or anything. We're only dealing with friction loss. That's all we need to know. So our friction loss uh, equation is gonna be C times Q squared times L. C is our coefficient of friction that goes with a four inch hose. That coefficient is gonna be 0.2. We get that from our coefficient chart. The next part is gonna be the quantity of water, which is 500 gallons per minute. We take 500 and divide it by 100, which is five, and then five squared, which is 25. That's how we get our quantity of water, or how we work out our quantity of water in the equation. The next part is gonna be the length of hose, and the length of hose that we're using is a 400 foot long section of LD, LDH, or four 100 foot sections. So 400 divided by 100 is four. That's how we calculate our length of hose in hundreds of feet. So we have our coefficient, which is 0.2, we have our quantity of water in hundreds of gallons per minute squared. So it's 500 gallons per minute. That's five hundreds of gallons per minute squared is 25. We have 400 feet of hose in hundreds of feet of hose. That would be four. So we multiply 0 0.2 times 25 times four. And that says that the friction loss from this truck to this truck is going to be 20 PSI. I hope you now have an understanding of how to calculate friction loss. In our next video, we will discuss how to calculate elevation gain and loss and also appliance pressure losses. For more training resources, please take the time to visit our website at www.boxalarmtraining.com. There you will find several training articles and downloadable resources for you to print out and share for your own training sessions.